before we get started with this project, you're going to want to make sure that you've got a decent drill. It's also a good idea to pick up some drill bits. I used a 1 8 inch drill bit for this project. It's always good to make sure that you've got some measuring tape or maybe a ruler if you don't have that, and a sharpie. You'll also want to make sure to pick up some forged steel plant hooks. I ended up with uh, 12 and 3 4 inch and 17 and a half inch. You'll want a post hole digger, something like this. You could get by with a shovel, but a post hole digger really makes the job that much easier. I highly recommend using this instead. Last but not least, you're going to want a 4x4x10 four by four by treated wooden beam. The first thing you're going to want to figure out is exactly where you want your hooks. Now I want to start with the 17 and a half foot or 17 and a half inch hooks and I'm going to want to have them up higher. For me, I, I figured it out. I'm going to have mine about 18 inches for these two holes and about 24 inches here. But just to show you, I'm going to uh, grab my measuring stick. And I'm going to figure out roughly where the center's at. It doesn't need to be precise. But roughly, there's my 24 inches. So from there, I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to place that over that hole. I'm going to center this, so that way I've got roughly the same amount of space on either side. I'm just going to place a dot in either of those two holes. Okay, so we just used a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill these three holes. I'm about to go ahead and drill in, or uh, screw in, the screws that come with them, okay? So I'm gonna line up the screw with the hole and we're gonna go ahead and screw these in. Just finish up with the last two. Make sure everything's lining up just fine. And last but not least. Make sure that it's tight. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and do about a quarter rotation here and we're going to get our small hook set up uh, but I'm going to show you how we measure that so from the base of the or from the rather the top of the um, pole here we're going to measure approximately 36 inches and 34 for our next uh, two spots and I'll show you why we've got our smaller hooks that are gonna go like this, okay? So I did a sort of preliminary uh, drill here just to go ahead and get things started, and I'll show you how I drill out the next one. Again, we're gonna be using a uh, 1 8 inch uh, drill bit in order to do this. So we're ready to go ahead and get these screwed in. So I'm going to change out real quick into my Phillips head screw bit. And this one only has two screws, so shouldn't be too hard. Second one. Okay. 
make sure it's tightened. And just repeat the same steps for your next two and you should be ready to go. So we've gone ahead and finished the last two. What we've got are the two larger hooks on the top and the two smaller hooks on the bottom. So this is basically what it's gonna look like. Now, you can go ahead and put an end cap for about, say, four or five dollars or so um, at a hardware store. I don't intend to do that because I'll, in the future, put on a birdhouse. But otherwise, it's ready to go on the ground. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do is find a suitable spot. It's always a good idea to make sure it's got plenty of sunlight, it's out in the open so the birds can see it. Also make sure there's places nearby that they can perch. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dig down about three feet. It takes a little bit of time. The next step is you're going to go ahead and put your bird feeder post in the hole, but I do want to take a second and mention two things we didn't talk about earlier that aren't necessary but could help you out. The first is a, um, a leveler which can help you make sure that the stand is uh, upright and uh, in the right position. The next thing is a shovel if you've got one uh, can help put the dirt back in, otherwise you can just kick it in uh, with your feet. We're going to go ahead and put in the bird feeder stand and uh, it's pretty much that simple. kick the dirt in the hole method. Uh, it's not what you think. It was actually uh, Jebediah kicked the dirt in the hole that came up with it. Once you grab your level seven uh, mace. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need to do is attack your post hole digger monster. Make sure you get it down to at least five hit points before you start your, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so what you wanna do is make sure that your brother-in-law's cell phone doesn't ring mid-show. Are you serious? You couldn't hear that.